morning. All right, day six. Um, all right, so today I'm going to show you wide leg um, by bending forward. Let's go grab this. And I'm going to show you thread the needle. Um, I like thread the needle. I've had sciatica in the past and occasionally flare up, but not that bad anymore. Um, or that often. Um, thread the needle is good because we in our butt have this little muscle. It's not very big, but it's called the piriformis. And what happens during sciatica is that is the muscle typically that clenches down on their sciatic nerve and causes that pain down the leg. So what thread the needle does is it helps to release that, the muscles in the buttock, including that piriformis muscle. So I will show you that, how to do that one, in just a minute. Um, so my leg bending forward is just that. It is to stretch the buttocks, the hamstrings, and the calves all the way down. So it's just, when you bend, you never want to, like, you never really want to, you know, curl it in. You want to keep your back straight and then roll down. And whatever is comfortable for you, if, if being right here, you feel a full stretch going on and that's all the further you can bend, then hang out there. And I would say hang out, you know, five, ten seconds if you can. And then you can come back up. If you can go down further, go ahead. You know, if your ankles are as far as you can bend, awesome. I today am flexible enough to touch the floor, and someday I'll be flexible enough to touch with flat hands, but that's not today. So, um, yep, yeah, I'll just hang out here. Oh, that feels Good. Holy bucket. Yes, very nice indeed. And then when you come up, if you're down that little, walk your hands up, keep your back straight, and then roll up. All right. So that's wide leg bending forward. Now, for needle and thread, you are going to need to lie down on the floor. And I got a towel here. I'm going to show you how to modify this a little bit. If you're like me and you got bigger thighs, it's not so easy to grab around them. And of course, because I'm on the floor, I've got something to help protect my low back. You need a little cushion because, you know, I'm going to dig them. But what you do is you're going to roll down. Bring your knees up like that. Bring one leg up, your ankle over the leg so you cross. And then I'm going to take and pull, pull this leg towards me. I feel the stretch in here, which is where I want it to be. Now, to modify this, I can take the towel behind that leg and then cross over again. And this time, I'm going to pull up the towel to get a deeper stretch. Oh, yeah. And again, you'll feel that stretch right through the back of the leg and into the buttock. Then, oh, <laughs> you want to do the same thing on the other side. Now, I'm not as flexible there. Oh, oh that feels good. 
And again, that's a stretch that I see. It's a stretch you want to hold for like between 5 and 15 seconds if you can. Again, very good for if you suffer from sciatica. Um, really is a good one. So I hope that you can see that okay. All right, ladies. Thanks a lot for coming today. We got one more day to go.